Why recommendation system is today's need? In this video, we are going to explore how the recommendation system actually works, and we will try to understand the various techniques used in recommendation system. Hi everybody, if you're looking to start your career as a data scientist from scratch, then you are in the right place. What is recommendation system? In a very general way, recommendation systems are algorithms aimed at suggesting relevant items to users, items being movies to watch, text to read, products to buy, or anything else depending on industries. Recommendation systems aim to predict users' interests and recommend product items that quite likely are interesting for them. They are among the most powerful machine learning systems that online retailers implement in order to drive sales. Data required for recommendation systems stems from explicit user ratings after watching a movie or listening to a song from implicit search engine queries and purchase histories, or from other knowledge about the user's items themselves. During the last few decades, with the rise of YouTube, Amazon, Netflix and many other such web services, recommendation systems have taken more and more place in our lives. From e-commerce, suggest to buyers articles that could interest them, to online advertisement, suggest to users the right contents, matching their preferences, recommendation systems are today unavoidable in our daily online journeys. Why do we need recommendation systems? Companies using recommendation systems focus on increasing sales as a result of very personalized offers and an enhanced customer experience. Recommendations typically speed up searches and make it easier for users to access content they're interested in and surprise them with offers they would have never searched for. What is more, companies are able to gain and retain customers by sending out emails with links to new offers that meet the recipient's interests or suggestions of films and TV shows that suit their profiles. The user starts to feel known and understood and is more likely to buy additional products or consume more content. How does a recommendation system work? Recommendation systems function with two kinds of information, characteristic information, this is information about items, keywords, categories, etc., and users, preferences, profiles, etc. User item interactions, this is information such as ratings, number of purchases, likes, etc. Based on this, we can distinguish between three algorithms used in recommendation systems, content-based systems, which use characteristic information. Collaborative filtering systems, which are based on user item interactions. Hybrid systems, which combine both types of information with the aim of avoiding problems. Algorithms used in recommendation system. Content-based systems, these systems make recommendations using a user's item and profile features. They hypothesize that, if a user was interested in an item in the past, they will once again be interested in it in the future. Similar items are usually grouped based on their features. User profiles are constructed using historical interactions or by explicitly asking users about their interests. Let's use a movie recommendation system as an example. Characteristics for the item Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone might include director name, Chris Columbus, genres, adventure, fantasy, family, IMDb, stars, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, Emma Watson, a content-based recommendation system can now serve the user more Harry Potter movies, more adventure, family, or fantasy movies, more Chris Columbus movies, more Daniel Radcliffe movies. Collaborative filtering systems. Collaborative filtering is currently one of the most frequently used approaches and usually provides better results than content-based recommendations. Some examples of this are found in the recommendation systems of YouTube, Netflix, and Spotify. The main advantage of collaborative approaches is that they require no information about users or items, and, so, they can be used in many situations. Moreover, the more users interact with items, the more new recommendations become accurate. There are two different types of collaborative filtering systems, including item-item collaborative filtering, user-user collaborative filtering, Item-item collaborative filtering. An item-item filtering algorithm analyzes product associations taken from user ratings. Users then see recommendations based on how they rate individual products. For example, you rate a book or movie as a 10 tenths. Now, you will see the top rated books or movies with similar attributes. User-user collaborative filtering. The other kind of collaborative filtering takes the similarity of user tastes into consideration. So, user-user collaborative filtering doesn't serve you items with the best ratings. Instead, you join a cluster of other people with similar tastes, and you see content based on historic choices. Why adding a recommendation system to your website is beneficial? 
So, what are the advantages of adding a recommendation system to your website or software? Here's a list of just a few. Increase in sales thanks to personalized offers. Enhanced customer experience. More time spent on the platform. Customer retention thanks to users. Is it worth investing in a good recommendation system? A good way to answer this question is to look at how companies that have implemented such systems have fared. 35% of the purchases on Amazon are the result of their recommendation system, according to McKinsey. During the Chinese Global Shopping Festival of November 11, 2016, Alibaba achieved growth of up to 20% of their conversion rate using personalized landing pages, according to Alizila. Recommendations are responsible for 70% of the time people spend watching videos on YouTube. If you're interested in learning more about a starting data science and AI career, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.